Okay, good morning. We've got another cool morning here near Santa Fe, New Mexico. I think the low this morning was about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Still about 30 degrees outside now that the sun is up. Yep, we're gonna take a look at our tires here. This is what I've been running here. These Una Royal Laredos. Got the heater going this morning. It is a little chilly. These tires actually have been doing okay. Uh, but for what I use this van for, it's really best to have some all-terrain tires. So it's time to upgrade. All right, well, we made it back out here and found a new place to camp. I was kind of up over this hill here. So I'm down over this way. Give you a glimpse of the new tires there. It's the General Grabber ATX. These are uh, 245-75 R16s. It's an all-weather, all-terrain. We'll try them out, see how they do. It's a nice looking tire anyway. Rode real nice on the way back here. Well, it's warming up nicely today. I think the high is supposed to be about 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, when you're in the sun and the breeze is down, it actually feels pretty dang nice. I'm just kind of hanging out at camp today. I've got a couple projects to work on. One of them is I'm putting uh, new headlights in my van, going with LED headlights. I found these on eBay. In my last van, in the Chevy van, I put LED headlights in it as well. Uh, these are slightly different. Um, they're just designed differently. And they were a little bit more expensive, but they had good reviews. It's a high and low beam, and if you want, you can integrate a turn signal in it as well. I won't be doing that. It's a cast aluminum enclosure. It's got vents in case condensation builds up in there. Uh, my van is a 2010 GMC, and it has sealed beam headlights in it. I was surprised. I thought they got rid of sealed beam headlights uh, quite a bit earlier than that. Uh, so when the headlight goes out on this, you have to replace the whole thing, the whole glass enclosure and everything, because the, the bulb is not removable from this. So I've lost a couple headlights in this van already, and uh, even the brand new ones, they just aren't that bright. I've adjusted them, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out, try the LEDs and see how they work. Should give the van a slightly different look because they're kind of a black background headlight. So it'll be a little bit darker up here. So change the look a little bit, but not too much. Remove these four screws and there's a, just a little thin retaining ring here that holds the headlight in. And then there's two other adjusters that take a little Torx bit that are for actually adjusting the headlight. You can go side to side and then up and down. Okay, so I got the headlight out there. That's the little metal retaining ring that holds it in. This is the new replacement LED light and I checked it. It does fit nice and snugly on there, so that should work. I think I want to go this on the bottom. And these tabs are a little bent here. I'm going to take some channel locks and kind of straighten those out. And it uh, looks like the plug is a proper fit there. So we'll get that installed. I think that's going to look cool. It's kind of darker. I like it. All right, we'll start by getting this headlight plugged in first enough lead here where we can just kind of do it while it's outside and before I get this all screwed in there it's plugged in so I'm just going to feed the wire in there and uh, just kind of set it there and go see if we got some light yeah we got light okay cool yeah it looks like on the low beam there's uh, this one's illuminated and these two side ones are just kind of partially illuminated let's hit the high beam and see what we got all right, it looks like on high beam, the bottom one illuminates as well. That's pretty bright when you're straight onto it. So we got the sun shining right on there, so it's probably not showing up too good on camera, but looks like they work, so I'll get that one buttoned up. Okay, just gotta line up those little tabs there with the holes. Well, it definitely changes the look of the van because they're, uh, they're black. Just kind of uh, has a darker look on either side there. I like them. 
Those cost me about $80 for the two, so about $40 a piece. The ones for the Chevy were about half that price, but they should last quite a long time. That's one of the benefits of LEDs, so we'll see. Okay, well, I'm gonna move on from this spot. I'm staying in this area here. I'm just gonna find another place to camp. Stayed here for, I think, three nights. It was really nice. Get the view of this mountain range over here. The last spot I was at was looking overlooking Santa Fe on this hillside. Okay, let's see if we can find our way out of here. I can remember how I got in here. Oh geez, I think it's to the left. This area is very interesting with these junipers here. There's all these little side roads that weave through here. And uh, you know, you get to an area that you think you're kind of away from other people. And then you stop for a second and listen and there's someone just like on the other side of one of these bushes. It's easy to kind of camouflage yourself. The weather is looking very good for the next week. It's been kind of between the high 50s and low 60s during the day. And then uh, low 30s, high 20s at night. Not too bad. Clear, blue, sunny skies like today pretty much all the time. It's really nice. But it does look like in a couple days there's going to be some rain as that develops and we'll see how much possible rainfall. It's kind of why I'm moving. Uh, a lot of these roads here, it's pretty hard packed. But a lot of the areas, if it were to get wet, I think it'd get pretty soupy pretty fast. And that's what I've heard from others that have been here. So I'm gonna head for higher ground. There's some pretty soft powdery stuff here from people driving and off-roading over and over, but there's a pretty good hard pack base beneath it all. So some of this stuff looks intimidating, but you can just breeze right through it. So now off to my left is uh, the city of Santa Fe. So it's kind of neat being up over on this side. You overlook the whole town. At night you see the lights. Kind of neat being able to camp for free. It feels like an exclusive spot overlooking the town. These new uh, all-terrain tires are doing good. The General Grabber ATX is pretty happy with them so far. Actually rides nicer than my old tires. They are slightly bigger in all dimensions. A little bigger diameters, a little bigger width. So I got a little flatter surface area to ride on, which is good for off-road. This is the spot I was thinking of here. Nice and open. And this dirt road does not get used much that I just came off of. The main dirt road, I'm pretty good distance away from. So I think I may just grab this spot here actually camped here one night. Uh, it was the night I came back from getting my tires. Wanted to try a new spot, so I think I'm going to flip around so my back door is facing the view of town. I really like this area. I like the freedom of just being able to move around and feel out different spots overnight. You can take the main dirt road back in pretty deep and there's more boondocking. I'd like to do that. So I'm gonna explore it on the mountain bike, I think, when Kelly gets here. Let's pull this right up in here. My block's out to level out a little bit. We all good. All right, this is the new camp. I think we're gonna stick here for a little bit. Kelly shows up. I might move. We'll figure out how to make the best of this. Kind of nice up here. You get the view of the mountain range across the way, and that's all Santa Fe right there. Pretty neat. See all those square, boxy, adobe looking houses. 
Well, good morning. We're waking up here at camp. Uh, I don't show this often, this kind of portion of the day here. Um, I'm usually pretty groggy, but I thought I'd give you guys a glimpse. This is my setup here. I'll turn the lights up a little bit. For when I sleep in the van at night, um, normally I just have this green blanket on my kind of couch set up here. I just put a sheet over that, and then I have my down comforter that's usually rolled up that I just unroll and have my pillows there. Depending on if I'm totally level or up or down this way, I'll switch the pillows, um, reverse it. I like to have my head above my feet a little bit if I'm gonna be off level. And uh, that's the setup there. And a lot of times I'll have um, some curtains clipped up here. I just have some cutouts from some blackout curtain. I just cut to fit and just use a couple little clips. Uh, but it wasn't gonna get that cold last night, so I just left them off. And we did get a little bit of rain here at this Santa Fe camp, which was nice because it's been really dry and dusty. So hopefully that'll keep the dust down a little bit. And um, usually, um, not usually, but sometimes uh, I'll have my iPad set up here. It's just kind of propped up at a nice angle to where I can watch a movie. Fell asleep watching a movie last night. So um, yeah, then I'll probably get some coffee going here. So I'll just heat up some water thought I'd take a quick look outside after this rain. It's a little chilly out and I just have a t-shirt, so I'm gonna make this a quick visit. Ooh, it is nice actually, it's not that cold. I'm not gonna step in the sand because it's wet. Oh, that's good, we needed that. It has been so dry. That's frozen at all, nope. Ah, through the cloud cover and rain, it actually stayed quite a bit warmer than it's been. It's been freezing the last week I've been here every night. I think it only got down to about 45. Love this spot here. Well, we've got another beautiful day on our hands today. We had some rain yesterday and we've gone back to clear blue skies. This mountain range over here didn't have any snow on these peaks and they're all dusted with snow now after uh, yesterday. And today is a special day. My girlfriend Kelly is gonna be showing up at camp. She is in transport uh, in route from her last seasonal job. So she was able to make some good money in a short amount of time. So she's got her freedom back. She's heading this way, trying to get into some warmer weather. So I'm awaiting her phone call. I'll walk up front and meet her and come back into camp here. And it's a little chilly out today. I think the high is only supposed to be about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The low was, I think, 26. But with the sun, it's really nice out. No breeze, so that helps. And uh, it's pretty quiet around here. There's still uh, the same kind of few campers that have been here the whole time I've been here. I've uh, been here now, geez, I think, oh, maybe nine or 10 days. So probably just stay a few more days, hit that 14 day mark and start moving on. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this one was a little different. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a glimpse into some everyday uh, camp life and how I handle doing some things on the road. It can often be challenging um, getting parts and stuff for your vehicles while you're on the move. Uh, to be able to get these tires put on my van, I had to be at a camp where I knew I could stay for a good solid couple weeks. Uh, it took about a week to get the order, the tires ordered. Um, the, believe it or not, there's actually a tire shortage right now, especially all-terrain tires. Wasn't my first choice what I went with, but that's was what was available. Um, so it took about a week to get those ordered, so I had to be able to have a camp that was near a town where I could have those installed and have cell service to be able to call in and order them and pay for them over the phone. And then after the week it took to get them in, get the phone call, go in, have them installed. So it can be challenging, especially when you're on the move and on a very tight budget. Um, being able to camp somewhere for two weeks straight for free is extremely helpful for stuff like this. Um, oftentimes getting parts delivered, if I'm ordering stuff myself, I have to find a UPS store or kind of a postal store, mail annex type store, where I can check with them first and then have something ordered, delivered there, usually for a fee. 
and then be able to pick it up. So um, oftentimes that can be challenging. You have to kind of project where your route is going and um, have everything set up so your stuff is there when you get there and you're not waiting around too long and overstaying your limit on public land. So um, yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to, trying to get some stuff taken care of so I have a little bit more free time after the new year. Um, with that, I am still trying to plan a meetup in the southern Arizona area. I'm still trying to map out a place that I think will be good. I'm trying to stay away from Quartzsite, Arizona, um, possibly looking into Parker, Arizona, Lake Havasu, Arizona, or even um, Yuma, Arizona. Uh, so I'm looking into some public land areas, and the meetup will probably be mid-January 2022. Open to anyone that wants to drop by, camp for a night, stay for a day, stay for a whole week, whatever. So I'll be feeding out more information uh, about that, hopefully with each upcoming video. been trying to do about two videos a week here. So I uh, appreciate you guys all following along. I look forward to being able to meet up and spend some time with y'all. So many of you have been with me so, for so many years as I've posted these videos here on YouTube. So just really appreciative of the community that we've built here. You guys make it. I'm just putting out the videos. You guys are what really makes this community special. So I hope to be able to meet up with you guys. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll check in with you in the next video. Take care. Peace.